Dear Misty, I'm a gay man in Fort Lauderdale, and I'm very shy. How can I make friends? Well, niceness gets you everywhere. But I do realize that Fort Lauderdale is a very hard city to make friends in. In fact, my first two years here, I hated it. I didn't want to live here anymore. I missed all my friends in Oklahoma um, because where I went to college and came out of the closet, I had so many friends and I, I missed them terribly and I didn't like Fort Lauderdale at all. But then I joined the gay men's chorus of Fort Lauderdale which forced me to become involved in the gay community and, and go to functions and meet people and then I started to love Fort Lauderdale and then I started doing drag. So I met, met even more people and now I love it here and I, I don't ever think I'll move unless I get like a huge Broadway production or a TV role or a movie role or something. But I, I, I think Fort Lauderdale will be my home for quite a while. But money talks. So I could move one day. You never know. But anyways, Fort Lauderdale. Um, the biggest thing I think I can tell you is that Fort Lauderdale is a very transient city, meaning it's full of tourists. It's full of snowbirds, which are people that only come down for the winter. Um, so I think by default, a lot of people are extremely friendly and extremely protected at the same time because they're used to people coming in and coming out of their lives. Like the other day I was sitting back and thinking with a friend of mine, my former roommate, about how many people we know that don't live here anymore and it's a million like tons of people that have come to Fort Lauderdale and become quick friends and have left a lot of people we miss but have went on to bigger and better things and uh... but the, the, the best thing to know that any gay community you live in whether it's a transient city or not is that gay people in general are very insecure by default not that they should be, not that they have to be, but because most of us were made fun of growing up and bullied. And it's in our nature to be guarded. Like, ooh, somebody might not like me because I'm weird, not normal. And by default, most of us are insecure and shy. And that oftentimes can be misconstrued or misinterpreted as conceited or stuck up. Granted, there's a whole lot of people out there that are conceited and stuck up. But go into the scenario thinking they're just shy, they're not stuck up, they're not conceited. And kindness will get you a long way. Now, you can't come across as freaky or st weird, stalkerish or something like that. Just be nice. Be like, hey, I'm new here. I'm looking for people to hang out, what's going on, blah, blah, blah. Start asking questions. Compliments always work, but it also makes people feel uncomfortable. Like, people are like, oh my god, you're so pretty. I'm like, <gasps> thanks. And then I feel weird, you know, because I don't take compliments very well, I guess. But it's like, oh, thank you. It's just awkward. Anyways, but, you know, be like, oh, hey, blah, 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 blah. Ask questions, because if you can get them talking... It helps. Um, be like, hey, what's the best drink to get here? Um, where's the best restaurant to eat? Or, you know, just be like, oh, hey, what's going on over here? When I hostess um, and hanging out in clubs, it's a lot of times like, oh, is this where the cool people hang out? You know, this must be the cool people section. How are you guys? And it gets them laughing or whatever. But um, I guess you have to come out of your shell. You know, a lot of people, you know, even me, when I first moved here, especially before I started doing drag, I would go out with one of my best friends, Jeremy. He was a waiter at the restaurant I was working at at the time. And we would go to all the gay bars. We'd grab the gay magazine, and the both of us would go to a gay bar, every gay bar in the magazine. And one of the bars we were at was called Cathode Ray. It's not open anymore, but it was definitely a stand and model bar total stuck up people, people that think they're better than everyone else, at least that's how we felt and it's really how it was, but um, we'd go and we'd sit at the bar and uh, we'd get our drink and we'd talk and the problem is we were only talking to each other, not everyone else, so he'd get up and go to the bathroom and he'd come back and be like, so did you meet any friends? I'm like, oh my god, I met the coolest people, no.
I was waiting for you to come back to the bathroom. And then I go to the bathroom and I come back and be like, Oh, I met this great person in the bathroom. No. It's really hard. It's hard because if you're shy and everyone else is shy, there's a whole bunch of shy people not talking to each other. So you have to come out of your shell and you have to go and say hi to people. Or be like, hey, what's up? I'm not saying you have to buy everyone drinks. I'm not saying you at least have to talk to them. Um, and like me, my I started to like Florida when I joined the choir. You know, there's tons of gay things out there gay softball leagues, gay sports, there's gay youth groups. Um, I think I already, I already did a video about, you know, gay youth groups and things like that. But um, get out there and join a gay club or a gay organization that will help you meet gay people and people of like-minded things. You know, the cool thing about the gay community is that we are extremely diverse. It doesn't matter what you are, there's other people that are just like you. If you're a Dungeons and Dragons sci-fi guy, there's gay people just like you. If you're a butch masculine truck driver, there's gay people just like you. If you're into slings and leather, there's people like you. If you like drag shows, there's a lot of people like you too. So, yeah, I guess the hardest part is you have to leave your house and you have to go out and you have to meet people. So yeah, uh, I do also think that drag shows help because, or maybe if you don't have a drag show, going to a comedy show. Because I noticed, like on Sunday nights at Training Palace, uh, a lot of the audience is socializing. Like, oh hey, what's going on? This is, you know, talk about the girls, talk about which one's your favorite, talk about how funny the last number was, um, or whatever. It's, it's a great place to meet people. It's not threatening. It's not a cruisy scenario. It's not like, a, oh, they're just trying to have sex with me place. It's just like, oh, hey, I'm here having a good time. Oh, these are my friends, you know. Yeah, I hope I can help. Anyways, look forward to your next question. That was Ask Misty, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.